Close how Thomas Van Eck's leadership is impacting the Red Wings, especially Dylan Larkin. Filmed January 15, 2019 in Detroit. Helena Street. James, Detroit Free Press The most important fact the Detroit Red Wings have learned this season is that they can count on Dylan Larkin, 22, to be a difference maker. We've got what I call a bus driver, general manager Ken Holland told USA Today Sports. Jonathan Taves drives the bus in Chicago. Patrice Bergeron drives the bus in Boston. Dylan Larkin drives the bus in Detroit. Those guys are hard to find. He's not Connor McDavid or Austin Matthews, but he is a bus driver. The rebuilding Red Wings knew Larkin was an exceptional young player. But with Henrik Zetterberg retiring last summer, they have discovered Larkin is taking his game to a higher level, with leadership part of his mandate. He's feistier, harder to play against and has 45 points in 48 games. He has 177 shots on goal, only six fewer than Alex Ovechkin. Nothing illustrates the inspirational quality of Larkin's play more than four overtime goals. More, Dylan Larkin fighting benefits, the Red Wings. Here's why, what do we respect about Taves and Bergeron? They come to play every day, Holland said. Now I have a young player who every day is pushing and pushing to be better, for the eight teams at the bottom of the NHL standings, five are either original six teams, Red Wings, Chicago Blackhawks and New York Rangers, or high-profile, big-market teams, Los Angeles Kings and Philadelphia Flyers. Of that group, the Red Wings are the team deepest into their rebuild plan. Detroit Red Wings center Dylan Larkin celebrates a goal during the second period against the Los Angeles Kings at Little Caesars Arena. Photo, Tim Fuller, USA Today Sports. Although the Red Wings rank 26 out of 31 teams and will likely miss the playoffs for the third consecutive season, this has been an encouraging season because they are playing several young players who are showing promise. Larkin and Andreas Athanasiou both will score 25 to 30 goals and Anthony Mantha 11 goals in 33 games, probably would have been there too, had he not been injured. More, why Andreas Athanasiou is an X-factor, for wing Skyler Bertuzzi, 24, 13 goals and 25 points, is another player who could score 20 on a Red Wings team averaging 2.79 goals per game. He's a junkyard dog. He's not the prettiest guy going, Holland said but he has great hockey sense and hands. Feet are getting better, the Red Wings are playing with seven forwards who are under 25 plus 20-year-old 20 defenseman Dennis Kalowski and a 21-year-old defenseman Philip Hironik. Detroit also has Swedish prospect defenseman Gustav Lidstrom, no relation to Nick, who they believe will be in the lineup in a couple of years. They also believe a few players from the 2018 draft, particularly Philip Sedina and defenseman Jared McIsaac, will be significant performers. Trade speculation has Detroit trading Gustav Nyquist, Thomas Van Eck, Nicholas Cronwall and goalie Jimmy Howard before this season's trade deadline. But with the Red Wings' rebuilding plan on schedule, Holland would like to re-sign Howard, 34, who has improved and tightened up his game as he's gotten older. They have contracts coming off the books this summer, including more than $17 million to four players, more than $12 million could be available in 2020 when the contracts of Mike Green, Trevor Daly and Jonathan Erickson end, it's starting to piece together, Holland said. Philadelphia Flyers' Chuck Fletcher is shepherding the Flyers' refurbishing, and he owes a debt of gratitude to deposed general manager Ron Hextel. The Flyers won't require a major overhaul because Hextel did a strong job of stocking this roster with young talent. Philadelphia uses three defensemen, Ivan Provorov, Robert Hag and Travis Sanheim, who are 23 and under. Plus, Shane Gostas Fair is only 25. Key forward Travis Konechny is 21. Goalie Carter Hart, 20, is a potential superstar. Claude Giroux, 31, is still an effective go-to player with 52 points in 47 games. They will trade Wayne Simmons for a desirable asset. The hope is coach Scott Gordon can push Provorov back on track toward a Norris Trophy and re-energize Jakub Borchek. If this occurs, the Flyers could be a playoff team next season.
New York Rangers Alpha The Rangers announced to fans last season that they were rebuilding, it won't get real until they trade Kevin Hayes and Matt Zuccarello before the trade deadline. The hope for the future rests with forwards such as Philip Chidil, 19, Brent Howden, 20, and Pavel Bukovic, 23. Defenseman Neil Pionk, 23, has impressed more with the puck on his stick than defensively, and Tony D'Angelo, 23, has shown promise as a puck-moving defenseman, but hasn't yet won over coach David Quinn. He had two goals in his last game, but is often a healthy scratch. Another key prospect is Leas Anderson, 15 points in 21 all games. There's buzz about Russian goalie Igor Shesterkin, who has won 8 4 0 with 8 shutouts in the Continental Hockey League this season. A few veterans will still have to be moved to create opportunities for younger players. The Rangers must take another half step back to move forward. Chicago Blackhawks way are watching the Blackhawks pay their price for winning three Stanley Cups from 2010 to 2015. To stay on top, they gave out lucrative, long term deals to top players. As a result, depth has eroded. News isn't all bad in Chicago. Patrick Kane is still one of the top players in the game. Jonathan Taves has also had a rebound season. Alex Debrinkit, 21, is on a 39-goal pace. Picking up Dylan Strom and Brendan Perlini from the Arizona Coyotes helps. Strom has been more productive since coming to Chicago. Henri Jokaharyu, 19, is playing regularly on defense. Dynamic defense prospect Adam Boquist could be on the team next season. Landing another blue-chip prospect in the 2019 draft will help. But next season could look like this season. Los Angeles Kings The Kings are still in the where-do-we-go-from-here stage, with Andrzej Kopitar and Drew Doughty tied up in long-term deals, they aren't going to embrace a full rebuild. General Manager Rob Blake will have to revamp on the fly. That's the most challenging, fix, strategy in the game. The Kings have six forwards and two defensemen in the 30 and over age category. They've worked some younger forwards, Adrian Kemp, Austin Wagner and Matt Luff into the mix this season. Their best prospect, Gabriel Velarde, has been undermined by injury. The Kings are excited about Finnish forward prospect Rasmus Kupari, but he may not be ready until 2020. You hear Jake Muzzin's name mentioned in trade talks. The Kings have to get younger and faster, that may not happen as quickly as they would like. 